for year one. Uh, damn. Thank you, man. <laughs> so I guess uh, just to oh, sum it up, I mean, how, how crazy has this season been for you with all the stuff going on around, you know, your future? Um, I don't say crazy, but uh, it got pretty wild. Um, it's over with now, you know, and just see what the future holds. I guess uh, now that it's over, is the feeling uh, uh, kind of, I don't know, can you, are you reflective about your time here? Are you looking forward to the future? I guess what's your feeling going into the off season? No, um, I'm seeing what happens, you know. I'm um, seeing who the probably can make the GM and having a conversation with that person and um, about the future. Um, you know, my time here has always been great. Um, you know, I love playing here. Um, it's something that you know you definitely, I would definitely hold in my heart forever. Um, but the next step is, you know, especially waiting on the Pelicans for that GM job. Do you, do you maybe not regret any decisions you've made, but do you think that maybe some of the business side of this could have been handled differently for all sides? Um, I think in everything you do is always something to learn. Um, I haven't really sat back and thought about any of that yet. She just ended, it, you know, but um, you know, it's something that, you know, I'll go back and look at it and reflect on it. You know, if it has, then, you know, I'll say to myself and, you know, the people around me and see if something happens again, what we could do better and, and go from there. Do you feel like it's a virtual certainty that an off-season trade would take place or have you entertained the thought that they don't get the deal they want. It could go until into the deadline. Um, February or... It's hard to say that, you know, when you know, uh, you know, they're looking for a GM. You know, not sure what the, the new GM will, you know, is thinking or you know what they plan to do. But you know, as soon as um, I say the Pelicans the point of GM, then you know, those questions will definitely be asked. And then, would you be okay if, if you started the year here next year? No, so I'm under contract still. I have a year left. Um, I mean, obviously, it's a possibility that it could happen. Um, like I say I don't, I don't have um, you no know, ill will towards anybody. Um, you know, I know that it's still a possibility that next year I could be here as well. Um, so um, I mean, can't be mad if I, you know, if, I, if I'm here next year. Does it matter who the general manager is? Could that potentially convince you to change your mind, or are you pretty firm on? The, the no, it really, it really doesn't matter. Um, you know, when that time comes, whoever it is, have a conversation with them and see what the future holds. Anthony, you've said before that it, it's your time. Can, can you just explain to Pelicans fans why it's time? Nah, I talked about elsewhere. that already, man. I explained that already. Anthony, do you have any additional, like, message to the fans or to New Orleans or anything you like to maybe say? No. Um, a lot, you know. Well, obviously, my time here was amazing. Love the fans, the city. Um, the fans always supported me. Um, never had no problem with the fans, except a couple of days ago. <laughs> but uh, other than that, man, it's, it's an amazing time here. Um, love playing here. Um, always have a special place in my heart. You never know what might happen, you know, later in your career. So, um, like I said, this is definitely uh, you know, for seven years uh, been a place where I love to play. How were the conversations with uh, your teammates, knowing that you know this could be that could have been the last time you're in the lock shared the locker room with them last night? Were there individual conversations? You're not going to content, obviously, but did you have some one-on-ones with guys? And, and have y'all talked about? No. Uh, I never had any one-on-ones. Um, obviously, everybody on our team likes to joke. So, I mean, you know, everybody see each other in the summertime anyway, but um, like that heartworn message, you know, I, I haven't had any of those um, individually with any other team, team, my teammates. And I guess you, you joked about the thing the other night, but I guess the, has this whole experience kind of changed your perspective as far as players' relationships with fans, players' relationship with the city? What the, the I mean, I would say, but the, when you don't uh, find the, out the, the thing, um, no, nah, like I said, I never had a problem with any of the fans. Um, 
anywhere, to be honest. And, you know, that particular time, something just happened. But, um, you know, for me, my relationship with the fans has always been, you know, good. Um, inside the arena and outside the arena. <laughs> Uh, last night, I know you said you'll reflect on all the decisions. I know Alvin said, great guy who he thinks got bad advice. How hard has this process been just not being able to, to play in, in the minutes restrictions and sitting out games while you're in your prime and healthy? Yeah, um, you know, that was definitely the toughest part. Um, you know, obviously, you know, I want to I play the game of basketball um, and have to adjust to you know, playing 20, 21 minutes. Um, something you know new for me, but um, I understood where the organization was coming from. Um, obviously, it's a business, but um, you know, anytime you take something away from a player, you know, um, it's always tough to kind of handle. You know, um, you know, I've never been a guy to sit the fourth quarter, you know, play 20 minutes, and so that was that was different for me. So I had to just adjust to it and um, make the most out of it. Any you more regrets a, about any, any, anything, the way it was handled? Or? No. Are you more of a Bugs Bunny or Daffy Duck guy? <laughs> all of them. <laughs> I love them all. Um, I'm, a big, I'm a big cartoon guy. Looney Tunes is actually my favorite. So. we got to ask, well, why, why did you choose that T-shirt? I didn't choose it. Night? I actually didn't choose it. What, what um, it, was, it was hanging for me already when I put my clothes on. So. Do you know who hung it? No. I'm not sure. Were you, did you notice the reaction to it, I guess, or the perception of um, it? I saw, I saw some stuff. Well, I heard some stuff, actually. You know, um, heard some stuff about uh, Space Jam. I heard some stuff about um, shout out to Pelicans. Oh, this is his last game. Heard it all. But uh, it doesn't matter to me. You know. I guess, what's it like going into the summer not really knowing What's about to happen? Where are you going to go? Uh, what, what team are you going to play for next year? I guess what's that like? Um, I said it's all it's all different. I never had to go through this, but uh, I said I think a lot of stuff would be more clear when you know uh, we figure out who. Well, not I figure out, but the organization figures out who's the general manager and um, able to sit down and have a conversation with you know that guy and uh, and like I say, talk about the future. Were you surprised that Magic made the decision that he made? Last I have no idea what's going on over there, what's going on with the Lakers. Um, I got a lot of other stuff to worry about. Did, does him quitting change how you feel about that organization at all? No. It's a great organization. Just like 29 other organizations. I have nothing to do with that. Will there be potentially a, a list or teams that you work out with them that could be preferred destinations for you again? Uh, I haven't thought about any of that. Um, I said the season ended 12 hours ago. <laughs> so uh, I haven't had a time to really reflect and sit down and um, see what the, the next move is. Yeah. Do you get any sense of how this sort of deal affected perceptions of you, whether it's from fans or advertisers or even other GMs and you know, teams or anything like that? Do you think it's made any difference? Uh, I can't speak for anybody else, but uh, or any other team, organization, fan. Um, I know when I walk around the arena, um, actually the first game, you know, it's different. But after that, you know, a lot of fans have told me they love me here, and thank you, and all that stuff. So um, the love I get, uh, all the way fans, you know, talk to me. I just have that <laughs> one incident um, has been. You know, always, you know, supportive, but, um, you know, you're going to, anytime you do anything, you know, you're going to have love and hate, so uh, it kind of kind of just comes with the territory. So, AD, just to make sure, so you don't choose what you wear every night, somebody lays out your clothes somebody and you just wear yeah, you, whatever night, they lay down, you, you every wear. Night, <laughs> every night, big shot lays out what I'm going to wear in the game, so I have no control in that. I just put it on. So that picture was not of you entering the arena? What? It was a picture that looked like you entered the arena wearing that That's All Folks shirt. It looks like I was. I was. Is that it? <laughs> Any more guys? Uh, Thanks, Thank you. Appreciate it.